M0FXB, welcome to my channel, Whistler TRX2 All One. This is the process for uploading frequencies from RRUK. If you don't know who RRUK is, put that into Google and you'll realize that it's a place that has many, many frequencies for your scanner. On the left here, we have the Whistler software. I will put links in for both of these items. At the moment, we're just looking at importing frequencies and learning how to import and export the, the files. So let's just say you want to export the whole lot. You've got your frequencies already on your Whistler and you want to export it. So what you would do is once you have run the software, connected it to your device, you would go file and then you would go save current configuration. OK, and I'll do that now. Save. Actually, I'll quickly untick that box there. I don't want that one. So file, save current configuration. Go to where you've kept your files. So my mind's on the desktop. I've got it here and it's called this zip here. And it does save it as a zip. But that saves the whole lot. It's called a CDAT file. Now looking across here, or at the front first, if you want to keep your light on, just go here and put backlight settings mode you want on okay and there is a timeout but you wouldn't be using that now display mode leave it to advanced sound settings on key beep you can lower the volume if you want and as you go you can you know as you make changes you can just go file and go save again just go down and save it you know if you get a bit lost Right, so at the moment, if you look now at mine, we're going to go across the top here. We've got advanced features that I haven't changed, although scan number one is ticked. Scan list, I've got all these scan lists. Okay, mainly Bristol actually. <laughs> but anyway, and in this scan list, look, you've got all these frequencies but the one that I've been using to actually add frequencies is the one at the top here called conven conventional frequencies so if we leave it there a minute then we'll go over to RRUK and we'll go to if we go to the home page and that takes you straight to this frequency search now there is another thing called scanner link I'll show you that in a minute you know you do have to pay if you want that but otherwise if you're just looking you don't so you need to log in so it's about, I think it's about £15 a year, but I, if you're into scanning, I think it's worth it. So get our password in there. And then tick the little thing and we'll log in. Oh, and the wrong password. Remember that there's a USB cable connected to, between my radio and this, you know, this computer. So look. So you're on the home page, you go, you've logged in, search frequencies, and let's just do a different one this time. I'm going to put in Cleve Dunn, Cleve Dunn, see if it finds that. And I'm in the UK, America, I just think put in your postcode. I will do videos on America, but, but um, this is for the UK at the moment. So we go search, and it finds Cleve Dunn frequencies, okay? And it looks British, yeah, okay? So let's just have them. So if you want them, click here now there are many other ways to do it but this is how I'm doing it because it's how I found easy scanner export and it makes if you go down here depending on which, ra which radio you have I've got the TRX1 TRX2 but on, depending on which radio you have it will create that that export file so mine's a TRX1 and 2 and if I want I could just export another one like here so uh, scanner export I do have an SDS 200 is that on here can't see one there, no, no, but you could do, look at that, CSV, AOR DV10, that's that super duper one, isn't it? Can't see Uniden SDS 100, 200, so that's a different kind of file, isn't it? Anyway, so let's go, we've got that file, and let's go back to here, remember we're at conventional, freak. we're not really looking at trunked at the moment, there's weather here, library, Again, that's, a, that's the kind of one where you put your postcode in and it, and it searches everything and adds it for you. But we're just on conventional frequencies, which is all of these. So we're going to go bottom right. Look at the bottom right here. It says the word text file. So click that. Then find the file. It'll just, it would be, if you're on Windows, it'll go straight to your downloads. 
and there it is there cleave them double click and then we're going to import So it does take a minute, and then I'll show you. I'll see if I can show you the scanner link. I don't think it will show it while while it's doing this, but you can see the radio is saying preparing. It's telling you what it's up to. The USB cable is just here. So let's give that a minute. Quite a few frequencies. Let's have a look at these frequencies. Show show a hundred loads. Look at all that. So, you know, it's interesting, isn't it? Let's put it in, just see what we find. Cleveland's very near me. You do have to be patient. It's not the fastest thing. Okay, did that complete? Mm, no, I can see on the radio it hasn't completed. Once it's completed... Right, import results, okay. Seems to have worked and it's put, it looks like it's put them straight on the radio as well. So I'm gonna save that, go file, uh, save, and I'm gonna save it to my file. Save, yes. Right, there you go, click okay. Now I'm just gonna show, see if I can do the scanner link thing now. Now to do it, you have to Obviously, log in. You need an account. Then go to Scanner Linker. Go down and you can click here. Click here to download Scanner Linker. And when you've done it, you get a window that looks like this here. It's like a little a mast for a ham radio antenna. So double click that. And I'll try and get it. To, hopefully, it will link. So you see this window. You log in with the same username and password as your account. Then you go. I'm on a Whistler. I, I have got an SDS 200. We'll be testing that as well. Select port and it's COM18. How do you find it? Right click device manager. Double click device manager and there it is there. COM18. Okay. And then connect. Now, it, should, it might connect. No, it's not. So we're just going to have to wait. For the scanner to, to 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 stop what it's doing a minute, so we just pause the video a minute. Right, let's try again. So we're going to double click the linker. You can see that the TRX two is just scanning away now with a bit of luck, and it is picking up some stuff. Let's can hear that. That looks like Bristol Airport. Pause it, turn the squelch up or down, push play and it keeps scanning or we'll skip to skip past that one. Probably the skip the squelch needs to be quite high here today. Right, anyway, so let's just link it. So we're gonna select Whistler TRX1 or 2, select Comport 18, then connect. And that's it. We can now see everything that we're looking at on the TRX2 is now on our screen. We can go up and down just by clicking the up and down. We can push play and we can do skip. And it's a lot easier than leaning over to the device. Now it does say here. How Scanner Linker works. Scanner Linker uses your RRUK account and postcode to download a database tailored to your local area. It downloads all frequencies within a 50 mile radius of your postcode as well as all airport, military, field, blah, blah, blah. Scanner Linker then connects directly to your scanner and gets the frequencies you are tuned to. It does. It then does a super fast lookup against the database. It has automatically downloaded and displays the the nearest three users on that frequency each time you start linker it updates the database so you're always up to date so as far as I know it's just done that but you know I, I haven't seen anything change but we're looking at Brist, uh, Bristol frequencies on the screen there so let's just turn it up you to do the volume you press this button here 
volume and let's go skip Uh, play. Oh, it's now loading everything. Okay, so you saw that. And yeah, and sometimes it can be glitchy and, and log out, just like that did then. But that's okay. I thought I'd show it you. I've read you what it does. We've got a feel for this software. What I'm learning is... Oh, you've got this live mail thing here as well that gives all the live frequencies. So while it's loading again, we can't do that. So, but I've got a feel for this software the main thing is if you're sending stuff let me just get it right if you're sending stuff back and forth from your device you would click go to scanner sd at the top then copy configuration to the scanner yeah okay so you'd copy what is on this software here that we're looking at uh, to the scanner i'm hoping that i didn't send anything but it doesn't really matter if you want to from the scanner, you click the next one down, the second one down. So you're reading what is on the scanner. Now remember, it's actually, it's actually reading the SD card. So you don't have to have the SD card in the scanner. You can have it in your just plugged into your PC. So think about that as well. I haven't used library. And then prepare scanner memory SD card for use. Now, if you've got a blank card and you've got a problem and nothing's working, you can select this and it will put the, the SD card in your... PC or in the radio and it'll get it ready Look, optimize scanner memory card as well and it looks like you can set the clock here as well I've never done that okay that's done so that's how you set your clock clear scanner password I haven't got one of them I don't think um, copy current data to v scanner folder yeah why not let's do that let's do it to here should we re try and rename it says there is an existing data in, in the selected folder. If I do that, it's going to wipe it. So click no. So let's do another one. Let's do it in here. So unselect that one. We'll go file, copy current data to a V folder. Do this one here and go select. There you are. Why not? So that's done. I'm not actually sure what that means, but we've done it. Uh, clear search lockouts, restore factory defaults. Oh, I wondered how you did that. So we've done this. The save configuration to archive basically saves that zip file that we've seen. Restore configuration uh, from an archive. We've done that. So that is like if we clicked that and then we selected one of my zip files, it will it will load on. So if someone sends you a file, they're probably going to send you a CDAT file. That's about it for now. Oh yeah, now in this section, and you just click check all for all updates. Configure auto update check and check all for updates. And I find it works most of the time, but it can get a bit glitchy. And, and I found I'd have to redo things a couple of times, but it does work. But I just, I prefer the manual way of doing it, uh, which is if you go to Uniden PRX2 downloads, like so, go here, this program. If you look here, look for CPU. If you download that and then select the COM port, then you can direct the firmware, you can put the firmware in directly if you get really stuck. I find that's better myself. Uh, what else are we looking at? So I think that's about it. There's obviously loads more to learn. I don't know how to do trunk systems. I'm in the UK. The weather, there's weather frequencies here, but they're different than the USA. Library import it says here, welcome to library import. This process will allow you to import channels from the database library into your mobile digital scanner. Okay, and so you know, this is look at that. You can import, and these are all America audio. Yeah, you can record and play back. Search, you can search frequencies by the looks of it. So, I haven't done any of this. So, you're just setting your search settings. So please, someone message me, tell me more. Look, show convenient frequency tabs, show this, show that. Start with full screen, remember position and size on exit, set. Might as well tick that. You've got some groups here, whistlergroup.com, about Whistler. Set import options. 
as well. So what, if you get yourself a scanner, any scanner, there is a lot to learn, especially if it's one that's not like this way, there's a PC program, and whether it's Uniden type program or Whistler, there's a lot to learn. I'm a ham radio operator and I, I'm good at learning things, but there is a lot to learn. This isn't put a channel in, but there is a manual way of, of doing things where you can just go in the menu, in the menu and select uh, search, then, then select tune. Search then tune mode. You can then manually type it, type in frequencies. That does work. Bye for now. Thanks for watching my channel. Please remember to like and subscribe my videos and uh, lots more to learn about the scanner world. I'm interested in all forms of communication, whether it's ham radio, 10 meter, 11 meter, apps on your phone with Zello or scanner. I, I, I'm interested in everything, so I enjoy doing it. Thanks for watching my channel. Bye for now, 7-3.